Hello everyone, my name is Bradley, and today I'm going to be reacting to the third episode of Arcane. Um, I love this series, I'm a sucker for it, it's become uh, an obsession for me. Uh, the, the, when we left off, so we saw the guy drink the evil super serum, turning, turning him into who knows what. We saw Vi turning herself into the Enforcers, and we're going to figure out what happens with that. We know Jace got kicked out of the Academy, and no one believes him except for Victor, and so he's probably going to be teaming up with Victor and doing something with that. Um, I have no idea what to expect, but people have told me this episode is the tits. So, uh, so I'm really... I'm, I'm on the edge of my seat, so I'm not going to waste any time. Let's just get directly into this. Without further ado, episode 3. Let's go. The car's on fire, and there's no driver at the wheel. Why is it not showing anything? Oh, it's part of the show? Oh, that's... okay. Spooky. Okay. Ever wonder what it's like to drown? Light is holding you, whispering in low tones to let it in, and every problem in the world will fade away. It's dark. But then... There's this thing in your head, and it's raging, lighting every nerve with madness. Have you had enough? You could pass a lifetime without ever facing a choice like that. But it changes you forever. I thank you, old friend. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so that's why he's fucked up. Um, alright. Okay. Alright. Imagine dragons. Here we go. Let's see if it's grown on me. <laughs> As if. Right to the sound. Right to the ground. Hate that theme song, dude. I hate it. Benzos. Okay, so this is probably where... We see Vi get taken. Dude. Vander? We don't have much time. How did you find me? This is the only way to protect the others. Vander! You've got a good heart. Don't ever lose it. No matter how the world tries to break you. Protect the family. What are you... <sighs> what the hell? No! <sighs> All right, there's a sh shift in tone here. Everything is way more intense in this episode immediately. Like everything is more intense. Like holy shit, I'm all for it. I'm 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 freaking out, dude. I'm not putting you away, Amanda. The council needs its pound of flesh. Without you down here, it all falls apart. Wow. It's the only way. I mean, he's right. It literally is the only way. There's no way he's gonna let the, you know, this this girl who he's protected like for forever just get arrested. He couldn't live with himself. So this literally is the only way that makes sense that he could probably like see happening. Open the damn door. What's happening? What the fuck? Oh my fucking god, what the- oh. Oh my god. Silco, you animal. Don't crawl back in your whatever hole you came out of! Then just stay back! You never did know when to walk away. Wait! Oh my... Mm, stubborn to the end. What the hell have you done? This wasn't the deal! Deal's changed. No! There's no way. Dude! No fucking way! Um, oh my god. 
Oh my god. Well, oh wow. Okay, well this show is not this show is not afraid to just really turn dark. That actually is so fucked. Wow. Oh my god. Well, that was the worst thing that could have happened. I I honestly could not have seen that coming. So um Yeah. Wow. This entire time, I thought I needed to dampen the oscillations. The crystals will only stabilize at high frequency. You have to... Oh, I see. Oh, that's that's awful. See, now, Jace and Victor are teaming up, so it's two geniuses solving the problem together. Dude, like I said, this magic is going to be problematic. And the fact that these two, it's, it's like just escalating progress going at an exponential rate. Crank it. You have to crank it. It works. Power hex tech dream. Oh, how cute. I'm gonna fucking make the world a Oh my god. Dude, the red window. Oh my god. I saw everything. Bet bet so they What about Vander? Th th they took him. Might even be worse than killing him in a way. It's like, what do they need him for? Um, hello? No, dude, these guys have, these guys are literally preparing for a war. Uh, alright. Oh, dude, this, okay, so what they showed at the beginning of this episode is all rules are off the table, okay? It doesn't matter what characters you like. Uh, the rules are, rules are officially off the table, so, <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm actually, actually scared to see what happens here to, uh, to shit, I'm terrible at names, Vender, Vander. Even with your monsters, you won't win a war against Piltover. I don't have to. I just need to scare them. They won't dare set foot in the underground again. You'll get what, Oh, is he killed. dying? For what? Pride? For respect. All right, let's recap really quickly. This is really to help me kind of keep track of what's going on. The very beginning of this episode, it starts off where it left off, where uh, Vander basically is not letting Vi uh, get taken. He instead gives up himself to be taken, and they agree. And then all hell breaks loose as... Um, as in the most awful way possible, uh, this uh, this evil motherfucker who I thought was my favorite character. He's not my favorite character anymore. They really made this guy evil um, to the core. To his fun this, I gotta say, man, I respect League of Legends a lot for this shit. This is a very very good show that has got me like really emotionally whiplashed. As that was just such an intense scene. Um, so, Benzo and the, uh, guard are both dead now. They captured Vander, and, yeah, the tables have officially turned in, uh, in another horrific way. Opportunity. Everything they've denied us. Naive. It's naiva. Naiva. He really thinks he's gonna get respect? Fuck you. You had my respect. The lane's respect for that. That was never enough for you. We shared a vision, Vander. Oh! Hold on, wait a second. Was that big beefy guy in the very beginning who was drowning him him? Hold on, was that Vander? Okay, so, so that would explain why he's captured. All right, they, there's some interesting shit going on. So I guess they have a history together. A dream of freedom. Not just for the lanes, but the whole of the underground. United as one. I trusted you. And you betrayed me. What I did to you... I've never forgiven myself. You are my brother. Really? Can you imagine what it's like? When your blood mixes with the filth and the river toxins eat through your nerves. 
The only way to defeat a superior enemy is to stop at nothing, to become what they fear. I hated you, but you kept my respect. Until you made peace with them, played lapdog after everything we suffered. Dude, I am fucking enamored with this shit. This is insane. This is like... This is like pedal to the fucking metal every single second right now of this show. Where there is just... It is driving like crazy. Like, I am... I am really impressed. How it's giving exposition in one of the most fascinating ways. Like... Wow, I've never cared more about backstory than the way that these two are interacting right now. I had no choice, perhaps. But now you do. Shema, we have the power. We can finally realize our dream. Brother. Don't call him brother after you actually killed this fucking friend like that, dude. Come on. You sick fucko. Like, maybe if you captured him and then just, like, dipped, but you literally killed two innocent people right in front of him. I mean, I don't know if they're innocent, but you know what I mean. They didn't deserve it. What you've done. Benzo. These kids. In fighting topside. You'd sacrifice everything that we are. Kill me. If you have to, but please, spare the lanes. You die for the cause, but you won't fight for one. Wow. Yeah, I knew it. They're going to inject him with the shit. What a scene. Oh my God. This is so what the fuck. Oh my God. This shit is just literally, like, flipped upside down, this whole show, within a matter of, like, ten minutes. So far, so good. Hmm. Willing to risk exile for your endeavor. That's quite the conviction. A counselor! What the Wait, fuck? What is the prize? Bedroom? See you, huh? <laughs> Oh shit! This is. <laughs> oh wow, nice. Please, Jaime Dingo will recognize the potential. <laughs> he already does. He already knows. What is this? It's actually power corruption. He already does. It scares him. Yeah. It scares them all. I recognize that any worthwhile venture involves risk. Wow. <laughs> Well, if the enforcers hit tonight, we'll be ready. I think. Dibs on the back. No, 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 no. I found it. But I called it. I found it. Respect the dibs. Respect the dibs. Stop being such a big baby. All right. Where's the... Where you back? All right. So, in a show this dark, where it's getting this uh, intense, I very much respect the fact that they understand that there needs to be a little bit of comic relief. The key scene... Where he was, like, talking about the bedroom. That was, like, a little bit of a break from the really dark tone. These two fucking bozos are also very much needed uh, calm down to the intense storm that is happening. Do you know where they took him? Echo followed them. The old cannery next to the docks. He said... I need you to sit this one out, Powder. What? You're not coming. I'm not afraid. It's too dangerous. But if family stick together, you- You know what's nice about this show? I actually feel like what's happening isn't a fucking cliche. It is like typical, like, you're, you're too young, it's too dangerous. But what I saw, what I saw, and how she has performed, it makes perfect sense that she needs to sit this one out. There is no reason why she should be on this mission. She really is- it, it, like above her head here and she actually should listen to Vi I rarely ever find myself agreeing with these characters in this way but the way that this show has set this up is actually perfect I know what I said I, want to fight. I, can I know what I said 
All right, here's what I think is going to happen. I think that Annie, okay, of course I'm still calling her Annie, is going to follow them and is going to uh, is going to make a, a mess and destroy the mission. No, she's going to basically follow along. Oh, no, I know what's going to happen. She's going to run into Jace because they can't find the arcane orbs because they've been stolen. It's like, no! Oh, that's right, they can't impress because they don't have the materials because they think that they've been confiscated. Okay, I see what's happening here. All right, I see how this is going to kind of implode a little bit. It's all here. Oh, it is. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Here we go. Stabilizing. Trust me. This is hard to watch. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> it's rare. I'm not shitting you. It is rare that I see a show actually, like an animated show, go this far to show how it actually feels to deal with the dark shit that it is presenting. But to do it in a way that still feels like professional is refreshing. And this is this is rough. I need a second. You idiot. I can help them. Oh, dude, I thought she was gonna blow herself up. Oh my god. Oh, okay, I see. So that's how she discovered what the orb's power was. Alright, I see, I see, I see. She's cranking it. What are they trying to do exactly? An atom bomb? Wait, is it going to go back? Incredible. Well, you're getting fucking arrested. Are they not going to hear that? Come on. Fine. What are you doing here? We're breaking you out. Milo. On it. How did you get in? Oh, there's guards everywhere. It was easy. We found an open window and... Oh, God. You have to get out. Now. Oh, no. Oh, it's a trap. See, here's the problem with this guy. He will stop at nothing to not only get power, but to flex power. So this dude is the ultimate threat. Like, he's got the fucking super weapon right now. You cannot face this guy. He will send out his super soldiers. It's some fuck shit right here. Alright, so she is following him. Dude, I'm so excited. What the fuck? What is Annie going to do? Is she going to use a bomb and it's going to work or something? Punch him in the nuts. Ooh! Yo! Whoa! Let's go! Oh! You motherfucking useless ass! Oh! Are you just gonna break him out? Dude, this is so badass! Everyone's got their thing! Like, that's the thing, though, is these guys are resourceful. They're not just fucking clowns! And that's what I love about this shit! Also, dude, halfway through, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing my mind. This is the most insane shit ever. This is, this is crazy. Let it arise to the surface. Dude, you can tell that 
Okay, so that dude's definitely addicted to power. You could see it in his face. He looks at the serum like it's his life source. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to grab a snack. And I will be eating um, a, a, a peanut butter off of a spoon into the microphone while I watch this show, if you excuse me. All right, so here's a recap of what's happening in this show right now, okay? The show was really good, and then it became insanely good. And now all of a sudden, I'm losing my mind at how I incredibly good this show is. Um... The writing, fucking phenomenal. <laughs> the, the best thing about this, though, is it's so naturally flowing and it feels like anything could happen at any point. Like, I don't feel like there's tropes right now weighing this show down. Like, I can imagine someone's going to get hurt, you know? I, I mean, I know Vi's not going to die, but who knows what's going to happen next? And after After the way that this show kicked down the door... It really changed tone and became so dark and so, like, awful out of nowhere that, um, that, that's, in a way, genius, but also, fuck, fuck you, show. That's, that's rough. My love, hurry. Get the job! between you and me. You had your chance. Yo, Annie gonna throw the fucking grenade and is somehow gonna save the day. Oh, wow. Smart. Yo! Badass! <laughs> this is awesome! It does work! Yo! Yo! Oh! 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 I didn't even think about that! Okay, this is gonna be... Yo! Wait, she's putting the fucking orbs in there? Okay, I did not even think about that. That's gonna... Yo! Wait! Yo! Wait! Hold on! Okay. I have no idea how this shit's gonna end. But... <laughs> but... Okay. Oh my god, what the hell is gonna happen? That's... Oh, it's the monkey. It doesn't work. Oh, that's rough. Oh my god! Annie actually saved the day and blew up the entire fucking lab. Wow. What she wait, did she just kill both of them with that shit? Are you fucking serious? I mean Wow, yeah, you put Okay, oh my god, what a what the fuck? Annie This is why we shouldn't let magic into the world. It is like a nuclear Did she literally threw a nuclear weapon into there, dude? That was not the play. Annie destroying both teams pause let me get this she lands on her head and becomes crazy or it's this massive crazy destruction that turns her crazy or i don't know did she just kill everybody all annie did was hurt everybody that's it
Yo, he back. He back and he pissed. Oh. He can't do it again. Oh my. Okay, <laughs> Jesus. I knew you still had it in you. Wait, he just landed on a bunch of super serum and he's got blood and Yo No way, no way, no way, no way is he going to be Dude, what the fuck is this? What the fuck is this episode? What the fuck? Okay. I see. I see now. See everyone was like, oh no, you're not ready. Dude. I'm Dude. <laughs> yeah, it's like the evil inside of him is like, he's got to like, Way away from wanting to hurt her, probably. Wow! Wow! And so now he's conflicted because, like, the the beast inside of him wants to kill him, but he's got to protect his girl. Wow! I mean, she literally killed everybody. Oh my god, I can't even watch this part, dude, because she just killed. I need a second, okay? I need a second. Excuse me. I cannot even watch the confrontation here as Vi knows that Powder was the one who did all of this. Quite literally, Powder, all she did was hurt everybody equally. She. In fact, I would say that the casualties are all on the side against her. Um, or oh my god, she just she fucked up so bad with that. It was such a bad move. Really great at displaying how dangerous arcane magic really can be, and how it can be in the wrong hands. I need to say. Oh, this is rough. <laughs> because you're a jinx. Do you hear me? Milo was right. No, 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 no. Not this, no, no, no. This motherfucker, really? Suki, leave it. 
This motherfucker, really. Of why? Why is he so manipulative and evil? I'll kill you if he hears you. Come on. Let's go. Wait, he chloroformed her? Okay, that's some fuck shit right there. What an evil man. It's okay. I'll show them. Dude, that shit actually had me breaking down. Wow. Okay. All right. This is a kind of a tough one to talk about. That is such a fucking heartbreaking episode. I am a shell of the person I was before I watched this episode. I was really excited to watch it. And now I'm really sad that I watched it. <laughs> that actually was so hard to watch. That that really um that really shook me to my core. That's how I feel about that one. I guess I'll give a summary of what happened. Some fuck shit happened in the very beginning. Evil man who's uh, scarier than the upper city, takes down lady from the upper city. Dest just kills Benzo. Literally, like, everyone died in this episode except for Powder and, and fucking Vi. Like, what the fuck? You could not make that more traumatizing if you tried. Now, here's what I'm guessing is going to happen, okay? And this is from just, like, seeing uh, pictures of them when they're older. This is probably the last episode that happens as they are like kids and what's probably going to happen next episode is like hex tech has probably become a thing now and it's a regular thing throughout the city and jace or whatever they've you know they've made a name for themselves annie okay has now embraced the name jinx because that's what she saw herself as uh, it's what Vi called her, and that's like the, the nickname that she uh, takes on. So she goes from Annie to Jinx. <laughs> and then I'm guessing that Vi... I don't even know what's going to happen with Vi, to be honest. I, I, I really don't know where this story's going to go. I feel like this is um this is like the first chapter, and this is kind of the end of the first chapter. Um, It's really cool to kind of see the Hextech thing working out. It's nice. It it's a bit of relief in terms of tonality with this episode, as this was. Um, this is about as fucking dark as I feel like this show could have possibly taken. Like they really couldn't kill off more characters if they wanted to. They they really, and not only that, but all the emotions really struck. This this was a tough one. Um, I love this show a lot. I think it's going to be hard to edit this episode. <laughs> um, oh yeah, shit. I was going to mention that the editing of this episode is going to be, um, it's going to be different than any other episode. I'm going to be trying a different method. So if it's a little less fancy or if there's something fucked up with it, uh, it's because I'm moving it from my laptop to my desktop using a completely different software. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that was episode three. I don't even know Dude, I'm, I mean, one episode a day, someone's like, oh, you don't have to do one episode a day. I only think I can handle one episode a day at this point. Like, I don't think I can immediately move on after that. That was, um, that was a stab to the chest right there. One of the, I, I will say that was probably, that was better than I could have ever expected in terms of just, like, writing, story, like that the action everything about that was fucking amazing i'm i'm in love with this show and i'm excited to keep going and i'm going to tell tina she better fucking watch this with me all right that's it thanks guys peace out see you in episode four see you